guys. Hope you're excited to be back with us this week. We're super excited. We've been sitting here chatting about our week, and we've had some uh, good successes. Jackie's had some good successes. Michelle's having some good successes, and mm -hmm. I've had... <laughs> <laughs> that did not sound so enthusiastic. <laughs> I thought you were more excited than that. Um, and I've had a few good successes. <laughs> But we're going to kind of talk about those. But first, we're going to go back over this book. You guys know the basis of what we're eating is the leptin diet. I'm not sure how well you can see that. It's by Byron Richards. And you can get this for less than $10 on Amazon. It's just five easy rules. And it's pretty much, I think, if you're a person who is um, conscientious about the way that you eat, it's probably going to be pretty much the things that you eat anyway, just going to be a different way to eat them. So I'm going to quickly go over the rules again, and then you can get the book or go back to video one and hear a little bit more about it. But the first rule is to never eat after dinner. Allow 11 to 12 hours between dinner and breakfast, and never go to bed on a full stomach. Finish eating dinner at least three hours before bed. Number two is to eat three meals a day. We t you know, I want to say something about that, though, because we talked about that last week, and I said that's really hard. But it's not hard once you get going. I think uh, So hard isn't the word. It's And you haven't started yet, have you? No. No? It's just... Surprising, and I think it is enlightening how much we actually eat throughout the meals. So, not really hard, just a new concept, I think. So, eat three meals a day, allow five to six hours between your meals, and do not snack. Uh, number three is do not eat large meals. If you are overweight, always try to finish a meal when you are slightly less than full. The full signal will usually catch up to you in 10 to 20 minutes, and eating slowly is important. And, we, you know, we've heard that since we were kids. Mm -hmm. Number four is to eat a breakfast containing protein. And number five is to reduce the amount of carbs that you eat. So that's kind of the diet in a nutshell. Uh, if you don't know exactly what those steps mean or you need more help, again, get the book or go back to video one, and you will get more details. So let's talk about who's using which products this week and how we're doing. Who wants to start? Michelle does. <laughs> um, okay, I'm still uh, following my my program with the Slim and Sassy and Water every morning. Um, are they, you just doing it the one time a day, or are you doing it more? I'm than doing that? it one time a day, and I'm putting five drops in a little water and just shooting back. Okay, <laughs> still shooting it, huh? Yeah. You know what will help that is uh, if you don't like the taste, and I, and I'm okay with the taste. I can just drink it now. I used to have to put chapstick it's on. It's better. A straw, just use, not not a plastic straw. Use a metal straw, but but use a straw because mm -hmm. you don't even taste it. Then it just you know bypasses all those taste buds. Uh, it, it, it's 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 getting better. It's not bad. And then I take a uh, Zendocrin uh, gel and a GX Assist gel. Look at you. So oh. I'm doing those uh, right now. Um, I won't say the the D word because that is negative to me. It is negative. But. Uh, I'm still making changes with with the the food that I that I'm eating. Uh, I can tell I'm cutting back. Some days I have really good days, and some days I have not so good days. But do you have really bad days now? Or I don't do you feel have, like you have better. I've had a couple days where I thought, oh, this is a better failure, <laughs> you know. But I mean, I get right back up the next day, and I just try to to, to get back on it. I think overall. Uh, I feel good about it, so uh, I'm excited for the 13th to see, you know, if there's any. I know. I am too. Any changes? I am too. I want to talk uh, just quickly about what you said about not saying the D word first, and also about feeling like sometimes you have an utter failure because this is the things that the, that's the two things that I really try to teach in my programs is that you should never say diet because as soon as you say diet, what happens? Immediately your mind starts rebelling. You say diet and you're like, no, no, like, you do, you do. And so then here's what the other thing that happens. And you said, you know, you've had a couple of fails, you've got right back on the next day, which is awesome. But um, also think about getting back on the next meal because do you guys tell me if this is not the truth? This is what happens. You eat something maybe for lunch that was not the best choice. So then you feel like, oh, I blow my diet. Who cares? I'm going to eat everything I can eat mm -hmm. till I go to bed tonight, and then I'll start again tomorrow. Yeah. Is that right? We do that. That's yep. just, it's just what our brain does. Yeah. So first thing we say is, oh, we're on a diet, and oh, now I broke my diet, and I'm just going to eat everything I can eat, and then I'll start my diet again tomorrow. So if we just think in terms of, you know, eating more healthy and making – because, you know, the reality is sometimes you may actually be in a situation where you have to eat a fast food restaurant. So then your question is, are you going to get a grilled chicken sandwich or a salad, or are you going to get a Big Mac and a super large fry with a shake? You know, so it's really all about making 
you know, people always think, well, you have to have this exact perfect food at every mm-hmm. meal to do this. And that's just not real life yeah. because you can't. Mm-hmm. But what is real life is making the best choice every time you eat. Right. So you just make the best choice with what you've got. If it's not the greatest thing, make the best choice the next time you eat. So, and I know for me personally, like, that's how I used to be. Oh, my gosh, I was such a mental warrior when it came to trying to eat cor- until I got cancer. Mm-hmm. Now, that just changed everything, and then right. it wasn't an option. So I don't struggle with that anymore. But prior to that, and, and I've told you guys, I ate ice cream every single night when I went to bed. Every night of my life for 30 years. I drank two to four liters of Coke every single day. So, I mean, I had the worst diet. I deserve every illness I have. <laughs> I have earned them. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> but, uh, so, so just think like that. Like, you know, if you feel like you've had a bad day, same thing for you because you said it wasn't your best week this week. But, you know, yeah. just, I don't, I try to never look at it as, as weeks or days, but just as meals. Yeah. You know, if it just wasn't the best meal, move on. And don't fast. Like, I don't think you need to even, because then you know you're torturing yourself too if you, if you say, oh, I had, you know, I had this for lunch, I shouldn't have had that, so now I'm just not going to eat the rest of the day. Yeah. Well, then you're yeah. already punishing yourself. So just, you know, we're all human. Just yeah. move on. Yeah, this was my first time in the five months that I've been doing this that I really had an issue this mm-hmm. week. And, and it wasn't really bad. But, um, in fact, I said to um, a friend of mine the other day, I said, well, I fell off the wagon a little bit, but you know what? That wagon's coming right back around in about five hours, so I'll get right back on. (laughs) That's right. (laughs) So that's kind of how I, you know, same Mm -hmm, thing. mm -hmm. The very next meal, you just just start it again. I think that's what you have to do because then you don't feel like you just beat yourself up so bad. Because we are the worst. Like, if you called me or you called me and you said, oh, you will never believe what I had for lunch, I wouldn't beat you up over it. But you'll beat yourself up over exactly. it. Exactly. So, you know, we all do that. We're yeah. the worst, our own worst enemy. We're yeah. so mean to ourselves. Yeah, we are. I'm using the um, Slim and Sassy. I haven't really been doing my Good Girl <clears throat> Moonshine this week because I was having some things done and they told me not to use the apple cider vinegar. Oh, mm-hmm. So, but I did use the Slim and Sassy and um, I use the Control Mix. So you did, um, just, was this your first week to use the control mix? No, no. I've, I've been using it. A couple but, of weeks. Um, I just put it in water in a jar and shake it oh, up. Oh, wow, you're tough. Drink it oh, yeah. <laughs> you are a tough girl. It's I could just, not do it like that. No. Mm-hmm. Well, my blender broke. I have um, nothing to mix. Do you have a food processor? Smooth. Yes, but yeah, I have an old food processor. Mm-hmm. And so when I put my things in to blend a smoothie, it all ran out all underneath oh, the bottom. Oh, no. So that doesn't work well. Yeah, no, it does fine work. with... Grating cauliflower and stuff like that, but it doesn't do well with liquids. liquids mm, so that's I'm gonna have bad. to get a new blender. Yeah, you do need a blender. Um, and I saw one um, actually that's made for smoothies. It's like thirteen dollars or eighteen dollars at Walmart. It wasn't very expensive. I mean, it's not gonna be a ninja, but you know, mm-hmm. it's it yeah. was for the price. It'll get you through. I saw all these had uh, one that looks just like a Vitamix for seventy nine dollars. Oh wow, really? I don't mm. know how good it is or anything. Well, that's but I interesting. That. I haven't been there for a while. How about you? Did you get your ninja yet? Uh. I don't know Monday. I got how bit on it right okay. now. Okay, all right. Cool. <laughs> I'm excited. Okay, so I am uh, doing the control mix, and but my exciting news is because I've been out of these, like I hadn't had these since you know they came out. I've got one box and that was all, but I really like these. These are the control bars, so they're the exact same thing as the control mix. Uh, five milligrams of apophil in these as well, but they're just a bar. And I prefer this just because. I like to throw it in my smoothie. Mm -hmm. I like the taste of these. It's not that I don't like them. It's just that this is more convenient for me. But since I'm starting Diamond Club, I'm going to have these in my car. (laughs) Because it's just way more convenient than having to stop and find something that's, you know, Would you use this for a whole meal? Um, Yeah. Yeah. Because I would just have a big thing of water. And I don't, like, I would not suggest someone go on a diet and use this as a meal replacement. We talk about that. But... Um, I usually don't eat a whole lot if I'm out anyway, just because this will be a busy, it's going to be busy. So, but I know that I will get hungry. You know, when it gets to be late, I'm going to be hungry. So I just thought, well, I'll throw those in my car and that will help. And I also had the idea, I saw a cooler at Sam's at Christmas that was so neat. I'm so frustrated I didn't buy it, but it was just kind of a taller rectangle cooler. And it had containers, one cup containers that stacked up each side. And then it had your little 
gel pack or freezer thing or something went down the center. Mm. Now, I've got a million 31 bags, so I can make that myself. I didn't need to spend 20 bucks, but I thought that's a really great idea because you could stash some fruits and vegetables and nuts and things in there and have that in your car all day, too. So, so it'll be the control bars, and I'm going to fix up my cooler like that. Cool. Okay, go. Okay. Tosca so, is real good on cooler packing. Have you ever seen what is her? It? Tosca Reno. So oh, yes, I love her. Yeah, I love She's her. She's really good She's on really, really awesome. cooler you packing me? to have your food. Luke, 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 you need to stop talking. Go in the other room. You need to stop talking. Go in the other room. Um, yeah, I love her. I followed her for a long time. She's. Do you know who she is? No. She's the author of the clean eating books, and she's a cooler master, really. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. She's pretty awesome. Yeah. So I want to talk just about one more other thing, and that is exercise, because I started a couple weeks ago. I don't know when you started. This I, week? No, I started a couple weeks ago, and then found out about a health problem, so I met with a trainer this week, and he's developing a plan that we can work around that Oh, issue. good. Okay. All right. So, how are you feeling? Good. Do you feel... Because for me, it's been dramatic yeah. this time. Like, I, I stopped, actually, um, we used to go to Y all the time, and I stopped last January. Please send them in the other room, because they're so loud. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Um, we uh, went to the Y almost every day, and then when I was sick last January, then I kind of got out of the habit, you know how that is, and we were so busy with doTERRA, I just never got back in the groove. But I have been so tired that, honestly, I didn't even know if I could get in the groove of going back to the Y, truthfully. I mean, I went, I enrolled, I told Molly, I said, come get me at 8.30 when you drop the kids off at school, but I, honestly, I didn't know if I could do it. Uh -huh. But we have religiously gone every day, we've walked um, a solid hour to an hour and a half every day, and cool. oh my gosh, my energy level is so much better. That's great. I can't believe how much it's improved in, in just two weeks, so mm -hmm. I'm anxious to see what that looks like in another month. So, um, and have you started walking or doing anything yet? I have... I didn't take a picture of it, but it's it's similar to an exercise bike, mm -hmm. but it is not an exercise bike. Mm -hmm. but I can do it seated anywhere, and uh, it's really kind of interesting. You can pedal it from the floor, uh -huh. but it, it's, it's tall, it has a handle, and then there's a switch where you can flip it around so that the pedals are in front of you, mm -hmm. and it's had a tension adjustment, so you can actually work That's your nice. upper arms. That's super cool. With it too. So, so you're I, doing that at uh, work, I'm, I bet. I'm doing that at home. I just, oh, home. I just got it home. So wow, I just got it. Wow, that's cool. Hmm. Where'd you so, find that? In auction? In auction. <laughs> you get all so, kinds of gadgets there, so that's pretty neat. So, it's that's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, so I'll make sure to see. We'll see in a couple weeks how that's doing for you. So, when you just got home last night, you said? It, I've had there about three days now, okay. so. Okay, so all right. Well, it in. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Good for you. Look, look at you've really stuck to this already, though. I'm trying. I mean, it's been a month yeah, already. So, you've stuck to this for a month, so good job. Yeah. Um, the other thing that we're going to do today is uh, make. I, I know last week I just held this book up, but I know you guys can't read it. So, it's called Simple Green Smoothies. And it's by Jen Hansard and Jada Selner. So this is the smoothie book that we're using just to kind of teach you guys about smoothies. So we're on smoothie number two. And it is called Pink Flamingo. So, And I don't normally, honestly, the only thing I ever put in my smoothies is a banana. In terms of fruit, it's always just spinach and banana. So I'm kind of liking trying some of these other things. Mm -hmm. So let me grab the Vitamix and drag it over here and we'll see what happens. I don't usually do a lot of banana because of the, the high diabetes. Yeah. So um, I do half a banana. I used to, you know, a couple bananas, mm -hmm. but so my liver thing popped up and berries don't did, have as high of a glycemic. Sam's Club. Yeah. Pardon? Berries don't have as high of yeah. a glycemic. Yeah, I know they are. So I, I, probably it's better for me to move in that direction. So read me the recipe, Michelle. Okay, we have two cups of spinach. And is it one cup of almond milk? It is two cups unsweetened almond milk. Wow, this is going to be a big drink. I'm just going to guess. My uh, thing is to fill me to read. And then it's uh, two cups of spinach. Two right? cups of spinach. So I tried Jackie's trick she gave us a couple weeks ago, and this was frozen in the baggie. And I'm going to tell you, major change in my house because I froze um, my spinach and bananas together in a bag and then I got, um, I'm going to get them out and show you guys. I'm super excited about this. I got these little containers and they hold, um, you know, my protein drink, my um, greens, my 
whatever else I have, my greens, my chia seeds, flax seeds, whatever, is in this little container. So now I can just take the bag of spinach out, which usually has a spinach and banana, put my almond milk in, grab this out of the freezer, grab this out of the cabinet, and it's done. And that's, that saves like nine steps. Yeah. It's crazy. Now, do you have vanilla powder to put in with this smoothie? or mm, Which vanilla do you want to use? Like the protein? The vanilla protein? Uh -huh. I don't. I only have chocolate. My okay. vanilla's gone. Oh, wait. I probably have a vanilla trim shake. Can you look up there in my cabinet and see there's a vanilla trim shake? We'll start with our... Do you usually add protein powder to your mm -hmm. all your smoothies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I only have chocolate. It's, the chocolate's not going to go with this. Yeah. So, this is what we're going to have today. So, we will try... Let's see here. I'm just going to dump. There's no, no, no scooper in there, so <laughs> we'll figure it out. Vanilla protein powder is my favorite. I like it. I Do you? It. Mm -hmm. I, um, I guess I'm just not a vanilla fan because no. people like vanilla orange, things like that. I'm not a vanilla fan, but... So I usually do chocolate, but this is the trim shake. So this is ashwagandha, solithin, and Essa trim. Essentra trim, sorry. So I'm going to mix this up first because you guys know I like to mix my spinach up first and get it nice. Okay, now we have two cups of strawberries and one cup of chopped mango. Okay, that's it. everything. Okay, now let's hope this will blend without my stick. Bryce is going to get my stick. Oh, <laughs> I, thought you were going, I thought you were going for my stick because you knew I would need it. <laughs> like a Wendy's Frosty. Yeah, this is really, really super thick. Can you grab a couple spoons up there, Bryce? I don't think we're going to be able to even drink this. Thank you, Jackie, for reminding me. You always remind me to put something in here, and I always, I'm in such a routine with my regular spinach thing that when I get out of my routine, it leaves me, I guess. Mmm. Is it good? Mm hmm Do you want some rice? There's still a lot more left in there, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Will the boys drink it? Oh, yeah. They, that's the first thing they ask for in the morning. <clears throat> Actually, they wanted they wanted juice this morning, and I told them they had to wait till we get done doing this. <laughs> so we're gonna have um, this is good. celery, green apple, and I'm gonna try um, no celery and green apple. We're just gonna juice celery and green apple. So you're gonna have alien juice. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. Really, it's just like ice cream. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I tell you what, I think I'm gonna do. What? I didn't decide it when I get. <laughs> When I get my ninja and I'm making my smoothies, I went and got one of those little popsicle makers like, you know, we all oh, had yeah, when we were yeah. kids. Uh -huh. Because nope. sometimes I'll, I'm sorry, I like a I do too. snack or yes. something mm -hmm. once in a while. And I thought, how easy would it be to put these, you know, mm -hmm. and you know, freeze them? <clears throat> I did that um, last summer one time uh -huh. and the kids lost all the popsicle sticks. So uh -huh. that was the end of that. Yeah. 
But um, if you go onto my Facebook page, um, I think it's under the it's under the Makeover My Diet for Recipes. Mm -hmm. There are some beautiful. Have you seen it? Some beautiful popsicles on there. I mean, they're just gorgeous, just made with fruit and juice and whatever. It's they're really beautiful. nice too to use some uh, coconut milk and make mm -hmm. different types of oh, that's popsicle a good idea. type things. That's a great idea. Real creamy, creamy sickles. Okay. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good. We can mm -hmm. stick them. Um, Stick something in it. Okay, so let's talk about real quick. What's our what's our drink for next week? Oh my gosh, Kevin. <laughs> pineapple dream cake. Okay, mm. that sounds good. So we're gonna have spinach, almond milk, pineapple, cherries, and, and bananas. Mm. How much? How many cherries? I have cherries. One cup pit of cherries. That sounds good. Okay. All right. So that's oh. it for this weekend. Well, what are you guys done talking? I'm done. Right. <laughs> okay. We'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>